Welcome to Strategic Management. Today, we're going to talk about willingness to pay, value creation, and value capture. So suppose you want to produce baby strollers. You're going to have costs. This includes the costs of all of your inputs, including labor and opportunity costs to produce the product. Opportunity costs are the benefits you could have gotten from the money or inputs if you did something else with them. These benefits are foregone when you use them to build strollers, so we count them as a cost. Next, we'll look at price, which is what you charge customers for the product, and we'll look at willingness to pay, which is the maximum price a customer would have been willing to pay for the product if they had to choose between paying for your product or going completely without. The difference between price and costs is margin, also called profit or producer surplus. The difference between price and customer willingness to pay is consumer surplus. The total spread between costs and willingness to pay is the value that's been created. However, only the margin is the value captured. So suppose, for example, it cost you about $100 to produce a stroller, and you charged a price of $120 for the stroller, but the willingness to pay for your stroller was $130. The value you created is $30, and the value you captured is $20. All of these values are gonna influence and be influenced by your competitive positioning. So for example, you could produce a low cost, low frills stroller and compete on price and have slim margins. Or you could produce a high performance, full featured stroller at a high price and still have slim margins if your costs are high. If you're lucky, you can produce highly desired strollers at a relatively low cost and have big margins. So in this example, the mid-price stroller both created and captured the most value, but this doesn't have to be the case. For example, the super premium Silver Cross Kensington stroller has a price of $2,499. It probably has a very high margin and high value capture. The award-winning Baby Jogger City Mini probably creates more value. But at $249.99, it doesn't capture as much of that value. A lot of that value ends up going to consumers in the form of consumer surplus. We can even think about the value captured by different stakeholders. So for example, we could think about the interest and dividends and retained earnings going to different capital providers. We could think about the taxes going to government, the salaries and benefits going to employees and managers, and the cost of goods and services sold going to suppliers. Now take a minute to think about some of your favorite products and services. What do you think it costs to produce them? What price did you have to pay for them? What would you have been willing to pay for them? How much value was created and who captured that value? If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit like and subscribe to get updates on future videos. Thanks.